Hey Gemini, what's up? I hope you guys are all doing great. So this is going to be your general love reading for the second half of October 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It is a general reading, so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation. And it also means that the roles can be reversed, even if you are cross-watching for somebody else. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. All right, Gemini, so the first card that we have out for you here is numbing. Okay, so somebody is trying to numb their feelings. This could be you, this could be the other person. If it is you, you know, it's okay, we all do that. It's not anything crazy, and sometimes it is just a way of, you know, protecting ourselves temporarily while while we get through something, but, you know, eventually we do need to actually feel those feelings in order <clears throat> to process them and for them to be purged or in order to heal. But again, it could be your person. Let's see. Let's get into the reading and see what is going on here. So for the situation, we have death crossed by the Six of Cups. Okay, so we do have Scorpio showing up, so some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio or you might have um, Scorpio in your chart. So there's definitely some kind of a transition here or something that has ended, either the connection itself in a way or um, an aspect of the connection. I don't see it as being like 100% um, an ending, to be honest, because we have the Six of Cups here. Because So it's like there's you feel a very deep spiritual bond with this person and I do feel like there's a lot of nostalgia and there is like this essence of wanting to come back together from the both of you. Um, but I feel like, you know, that is kind of being blocked in some way, like the, the essence of that. So, I mean, and I'm not going to say that, oh, you're definitely getting back together by saying that you're not, that it's not um, an ending. What I mean is, if it is if it is an ending, it's it, it's not complete if you haven't really fully acknowledged your feelings for this. And this could go for the other person, okay? So that's one scenario. Um, and then the other scenario is, you know, that maybe it's not done, okay? So it could go either way. So take it as it makes sense for you. Let's see the recent past. We have the Six of Swords. Yeah, there was definitely, there's been some kind of distancing like somebody moved away from the connection, whether this was you or whether this was them. Whatever the case though, I do feel like this distancing is happening for the purpose of healing in order to heal past wounds, either connected to this connection or even connected to other things in our lives previously, right? That may just kind of resurface through this connection. Let's see for your energy. We have the Two of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so you have love for this person. You definitely have love for this person and I feel like this is just a truth that you are admitting. So actually just by seeing these two cards, I don't feel like you are the one. Um, engaging in the numbing, but again, can't be sure until we clarify, but definitely you do feel the love here. Um, let's see for the other person. We have the two of pentacles and the three of swords. All right. So, the, so I feel like for a lot of you, the numbing is going to be on the other person's side, unless the roles are reversed. Um, and it's not to say that you're not doing any numbing, which is, you know, it, so some of you might be wondering what that is. It, it's, anything. It could be distracting yourself with work. It could be just closing off your emotions, numbing them. Um, for others, it could definitely be, you know, more literal, like, okay, numbing out my feelings by drinking or substance abuse or, you know, anything along those lines. It could be anything. Um, so the other person, yeah, they're having a hard time coping with this ending. Okay, as it's appearing to be here. And that's actually causing them a lot of pain. Let's see what you are moving towards. We have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I feel like for the most part, like even if you are also, you know, engaging in some kind of numbing, you're moving towards truth. 
So whatever your true emotions are, they're surfacing anyway, or you have already acknowledged them. And for the other person, we have the two of wands. Okay, so they're still doing a lot of thinking here, trying to figure things out, trying to possibly plan things out. Let's see, let's clarify. Queen of Pentacles is the card at the top showing here. Okay, Gemini. Let's see the death card with the Six of Cups. And we have the Empress, the Page of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely, I mean, Whatever this ending is, I feel like, you know, this is an ending of something that felt like it just really had this potential. Like, it just really had this potential to be long-term, um, marriage material. Like, I feel like, you know, the both of you feel like each other is your person. And so it makes sense to me as to why, you know one of you or the both of you would be engaging in some kind of numbing behavior to block out the pain because yeah like this ending is bound to be very very painful i do still get though that on some level like you each still want this you both still want this I just don't know how much each of you might be admitting that, although I do see you being um, pretty honest with yourself here. So let's see, Six of Swords for the recent past. The Magician and the High Priestess. I actually feel like we've been getting the Magician in this position quite a bit. So I feel like really what's been happening in the collective um, recently is that right now we're seeing like a lot of what we've been doing, it's kind of like the results is showing. So now we're seeing the consequences of certain um, behaviors, what it is that we manifested during this previous time period, okay? Whether that be a month or, you know, a year, whatever for each of you. Um, but I feel like it's mostly, it's a little more short term, but whatever, whatever the case, it doesn't matter. Um, you're seeing the results of what you've been doing and the other person is seeing the results of what they've been doing as well. Um, whatever it is that each of you were doing, like it just led up to this um, moving away from the connection. And it actually feels like that's kind of like what was also meant to happen or what is actually in the highest good to happen during that during this time period at least or whenever it happened whenever there was this movement away it was meant to happen let's see two of cups for your energy There's that Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. So you, like I said, you do have love for, for this person, but I feel like, you know, you, what you're doing here is you're mostly focusing on yourself. You're putting a lot of energy and a lot of focus into your own self, possibly into your work. So if some of you feel like you might kind of be avoiding, you know, what you're feeling, okay, if that's you, um, it could be that you're doing it by kind of, you know, just putting all of your focus and all of your energy into work. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily bad. It just really depends on the context. Okay, um, because on the one hand, it could be that, you know, you're just focusing on, on you and doing the best that you can while still acknowledging your feelings at the same time. If that's the case, you know, then that's perfect. So let's see the Ace of Swords. We have the 
King of Cups and the Two of Cups showing up again. Second time we're getting that Two of Cups. Yeah, you're acknowledging your feelings, definitely. You, you know how you feel. You know how you feel. And if you've been numbing all this time, I feel like your, your emotions are surfacing and you are acknowledging them, which is good because that's the only way to move forward. Um, from here in whatever direction, you know, and regardless of whether you end up getting, you know, getting into, back into a connection with this person or not, that is the way to go. So I do see you taking action um, in a way where it's serving your highest good and in a way where you're not blocking out love. You're open to how you feel, you know how you feel. Not only that, I feel like you also know how the other person feels about you and you know that there's this connection here between the two of you, like there's this love here and, you know, even if there is an ending, that love is, it, it, it cannot be broken, that bond cannot be broken, like that is always there. Let's see the two of pentacles for them. Tower and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're having a hard time here. They're having a hard time here. They're trying to figure all of this out, whatever it is that has happened between the two of you. And it's not easy. It's not easy. They're definitely going through a very, very huge lesson here. And they're just having a hard time um, dealing with this lesson, whatever, whatever it is. I'm actually even getting that, you know, things in their lives, in their life is happening in a way where it's feeling very, um, dramatic, very intimidating, possibly even scary. And so I feel like they all, like that's happening. And then at the same time, they might have something else as well that they need to handle or deal with for some of them it, I mean specifically it could be it could be children um, and so it's a lot on their plate right now this is a lot like something just really shifting big time and so they don't really know how to handle the whole situation let's see the three of swords The Seven of Wands and the Chariot. So some of you might be dealing with a Cancer as well. Yeah, they're blocking this out. They're trying to block this out. I don't think it's working. <laughs> I don't think it's working because that tower, I mean, you cannot block out a tower. The tower is there. The tower is happening. They're just trying to deal with it in like the most like practical way like they're trying to be very very practical about what it is that is happening right now um and just trying to block out that pain that they are feeling but what's happening here is that even though they're trying to block it out and be like it's like they're trying to convince themselves that they're superman basically here um that pain is coming in and it's coming in fast they're gonna feel it they're gonna feel it um, again, I mean, just remember the roles can be reversed, okay, even if you are cross-watching, or even if you're not, whatever. Um, there, yeah, it's, it feels uncomfortable for me to say this, because I can just feel their, how uncomfortable they're feeling with this, but that pain, it, it has to come in. It's going to seep through that defense. It's going to seep through that wall that they're putting up. Whatever it is that they're doing to numb out, like, it's just, it's not going to work, you know? Like, feelings are going to surface at some point, right? Sooner or later. So, let's see. Um, the Knight of Swords. For your energy coming up. And we have oh, the Six of Cups. And the King of Wands. Okay, good job, Gemini. You're, yeah, I mean, you you know what this is. You know what this connection is. You know what it means to you. You know what it is and you know what it isn't. You know how you feel. You know how the other person feels. And if you're doubting that, no, you trust your intuition. You know. You know. And 
I feel like, you know, you're just moving more and more towards being more and more authentic with your own self. And I feel like that's actually part of the lesson here for you is to, you know, really be 100% honest with your own self concerning your feelings and what it is that you would want. Now, just because you would want something doesn't mean you're going to go, you know, for it or accept it no matter what. No, like, you know, the other person has to be in that alignment with you as well. So, and that's also another truth, you know, like you're kind of standing up for what you, what you stand for, you know, and you're, your actions are reflecting that, which is actually putting you in this position of this King of Wands, like just really being in control here of your own self and just overcoming your own obstacles, which is really, really good. So even if you do miss this person, right, Six of Cups, and even if you would want that connection, you're still, though, you know, being true to yourself. So let's see this Two of Wands for the other person here. The Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so this person is, I see them still being a little bit reserved. However, even if they are a little bit reserved, there is some steps here that they are taking. I feel like it's a gradual process where they're taking it step by step here, you know, putting in some kind of an effort, especially in terms of either communicating or in terms of, you know, just a bigger action, you know, like movement. Movement in a direction which is um, going to be positive. All right, it's just they're doing it in a way where it's a little bit reserved, at least at least just for now. So, yeah, but that Eight of Wands, it's, it's telling me that there is overall movement in a positive direction. So, yeah, that is it, Gemini. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.